C for D Old Denizens. Here comes your evil cultivator, Old Turkey. I saw Daniel Danielson send an instructional video of program Lightning today. I feel that his may not be the latest technology, so I took the liberty to share my method today. I will briefly explain my production idea first. Create two simple geometries to demonstrate the principles of my technique. Create two matrix points to the surface of the object, respectively. Note that only one point is required. Copy matrix objects and replace them. Need to be reminded that this method is only suitable for versions above 2025.3. Find the interconnect object and add it to the object list with the matrix as a child. Modify the interconnect object parameter mode to 1. In fact, you don't need this tool. It is the same to add to nulls directly to the tracer. This is when I recorded the video and found that I actually thought a little more complicated. Copy the interconnect and the matrix and then replace one of the matrix objects with the interconnect. Modify the number of matrices to 1 and set the offset parameter. Modify the random seed number of a matrix. The goal is to make the matrix positions different, otherwise the line segment positions overlap. Modify the display color of the line segment. Repeat the previous operation. How many details you need can be added according to this idea. Now it doesn't seem to have anything to do with lightning. Don't worry 2025.3 version has many capsules that were previously in the repository built into the shapeshifter. Here's the electric spline modifier we need this time. Assign electric spline modifiers to the interconnect sublevel. Adjust the step parameters. The default is too much detail. Copy electric spline modifiers and assign to other object children. And simply adjust the parameters, don't make them all the same. In just a few simple steps, we completed the prototype of our program Lightning. You can build on what you already have and take this simple technology to the next level. If you don't want to spend your time fiddling with it, then I have my extended version for you all. This is a control version demonstration of simply controlling the birth position of lightning. And you can control exactly where the lightning strikes. Neil B. If you don't satisfy a set of lightning bolts, then it's simple and you can keep copying. I won't give a detailed explanation later. Let's see what my usual technology research and development is like. You can get the C4D file on my Patreon. 
If you are interested in C4D technology, I will share research techniques almost every day. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.